We are here with Lindsay Lohan. She is here to tell us about taking on that iconic Hollywood role. Lohan transforms herself into Elizabeth Taylor in the new Lifetime movie, Liz and Dick. The film focuses on the turbulent love affair between Taylor and the man she would marry twice, actor Richard Burton. Take a look. You obviously haven't read the news today. No less than the Vatican has made a pronouncement about us. The Vatican, right. Okay. <laughs> and we are so happy to have Lindsay Lohan here. Thank Welcome you. and thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. I have to say I watched the movie last night. It's fantastic and woke up this morning to see rave reviews about it as well. That has to feel good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's it was it's always it's really nerve-wracking to play someone that's, you know, such an incredible force um, and a wonderful woman. So that it was it was I was kind of nervous to see what people would think of it. Yeah, what what were some of the challenges taking on a role that is so iconic that a woman who is so loved and so well known? Um, I think it was more so kind of yeah, you can never actually be you know a clone of the person, so you have to bring some of your yourself into it. And I kind of I was lucky enough because I do relate to Elizabeth Taylor in a lot of ways. Yeah, and there are a lot of parallels between the two of you from being a child actor to your intense public scrutiny. Did you seek out this role? Did the directors come to you because of any of those similarities? Um, it's a funny story, actually. I had, I had seen that they were going to be making the movie, and I got the producer's number and started harassing Larry Thompson. Um, and I didn't even, I just, I didn't even care if my agents were going to do it or not. I just did it myself, too. Um, because I was like, no one else is going to play this role. I have to do this. And, and you know, Liz Taylor's life was out of control at times. And, and to be honest, so has yours. From the moment you step out of your house, there's, there's oftentimes drama. There have been legal troubles. Do you think that your life and your career may have been different, would have been different, without the constant scrutiny? Um, I, I mean, obviously, yes, if, if, to certain extents. But... Um, I think that everyone goes through things in life, and <clears throat> I learn. I like to learn from my mistakes, obviously. But I wouldn't be who I am today if I hadn't gone through certain things. And everything happens for a reason, good or bad. So you can just, you know, take what you've learned from it and move forward. And and obviously, you've been going through some very difficult times. Elizabeth Taylor did too. Who did she rely on during those dark days? And who is your rock? Who do you go to? How do you stay grounded? Um, I, Elizabeth Taylor actually went to her mother a lot. She was really close with her mother. Um, and I think you see, we portray that pretty well in the movie. Um, and I'm pretty much the same. Um, my mom, my siblings, my sister Allie, my brother Michael, and Cody. And yet your family troubles are constantly put out there for the public. I know just today there was news that you allegedly have a new half-sister. How do you handle your family I didn't being even so... I that, so thanks for the news. I don't, listen, I don't pay attention to any of I mean, how does your family handle all of that scrutiny? Mm -hmm. There the headlines splashed daily. Um, you know, I, I can't... I don't really want to get into that because no. I want to stand with the positive side of things and right. talk about... No, and, and you know what, this was interesting because you've said that acting is your passion yeah. and that being on set is where you belong. You've had to take a step back from that, from, mm -hmm. from moments, and, and you, Elizabeth, you and Elizabeth actually were at the same rehab clinic, at the Betty Ford Clinic. Mm -hmm. But is this for you, seeing you, yourself play this role, is this a bit of professional redemption? Yeah, I think that, <clears throat> and just as Elizabeth Taylor did, there was a time, you know, when I was just doing so much work um, constantly, and I, I kind of had that moment where it was, I didn't, I was like, do I really love doing this for a minute? And, and stepping back and seeing other people do other movies and then kind of noticing, I was like, wait, that's what I love to do. Why I need to get in the right headspace and just focus on being, you know, on set. And that's what makes me happiest. And what do you like best about this film? Do you have a scene you're proudest of? Um, it was really fun to do. And they don't have, it's not, I know you saw the movie, so it's not like, I wish they had more of the scene that we did. Um, Timing-wise, they had to cut it down, but when I did the Virginia Woolf scene. Very powerful. That was my, that was my favorite.